Keysplint Hard really completes a family or suite of Night Guard or Splint products. Keysplint Soft is outstanding in that it has really good flexural modulus inside the body and it softens, but it doesn't provide all the range of splint therapies that dental professionals may want or prefer for their patients. So Keysplint Hard kind of helps fill the gaps that Keysplint Soft does not. They both have 510K clearances with the FDA, and they are both cleared for sale in Canada, in Europe, and in Australia as Class II devices. So that level of compliance is really important for a dental professional to know that the right regulatory agencies have reviewed and, and approved this material for use as a splint or a night guard. Keysplint Hard also is ideal for cases where tooth immobilization is needed. So if there's been a trauma to the mouth and the tooth has to be isolated and kept in place while uh, healing takes place, a much more rigid splint material serves that need better than something that softens inside the body like Keysplint Soft. Some doctors really want to have a very rigid material for severe bruxers. So, you know, Jif offers creamy and chunky peanut butter and Skippy offers chunky and creamy peanut butter, and we have a hard splint and a soft splint. Sometimes it's a matter of preference, and we're able to tailor those options for the consuming marketplace for splint therapies. One other key differentiating point between Key Splint Hard and other 3D printed splint material that is out there is the compatibility of the wavelength. Several other splint materials only work at a 385 nanometer wavelength printer. Keysplint Hard is validated to work in printers between 385 and 405 wavelength, so it's a much wider range of printers that can take on Keysplint Hard and make it usable in a compliant fashion.